Hello, it's Elena Shamba from SodusTutorials.com. Elena's main game name, and today I'm in as Eleanor, and I'm continuing on a series of kind of like tightly focused little videos that are meant to help out new players coming into the game. And today, what I want to talk about is kind of your start getting into some of the crafting stuff. So, if you haven't played the game before, you can come up here to your window and click on um, your skills tree. By default, I think it's left control K. I get rid of the left controls in the option menus and I just put the letter so I have the letter K here. So I can either click that window up there or I can hit the K key for mine. And there's a crafting tab. These are all the crafting things in the game. And it's pretty in depth and it's supposed to get even more as, as the game grows out on here. So, um, but one of the things you're gonna need to, um, what you need to do is actually look at, in the very beginning is understand the gathering thing. Gathering is very important. It's probably the best way to make money in the game. People need wood, people need ore. Lots of it. Those are the two main ones. So if you want to make some money, make some of that. Um, go ahead and you, you want to gather that, you want to be able to sell it. I'll talk about other ones, how to sell it and whatnot. But let me talk about this one here. So mining. I've got 10 skill points over here in mining, which means I'm at level 10. As I get better at it, I can get, I get bored. My proficiency gets more, I can get more ore. I get a better chance of being able to hit a node multiple times to get at it. So my, this is your basic mining skill. I also have survey. Surveying increases the distance. So basically, if there's a mining node, a globule on, the side of, on, on a rock, it's gonna have sparklies. It kind of says, ooh, I'm a mining, I'm an ore, come, come mine me. But if your surveying skill goes up, you can see those farther and farther away. So if you're in a room, you can look around and see where it's at. For mining, it's, it's a little bit, it helps out a little bit because sometimes like iron blends in with the rock. But things like reagents, forging things off the ground, finding some garlic or mandrake, you want to have that forestry skill, that surveying skill. I mean, that would be in a, in a different tree at that point. Swift gathering means how fast, you know, can, can you gather, can you go through it? The faster you can mine, the more you can mine, the more money you can make. You need both of these up to, like this one here starts at 10 and it can go up as you use it. To open up these, you need this to be at 10 so these can go to 40. All right, you need this to be at 40 so you can open these up. Is that right? Yes, it says mining level has to be 40. So once this gets to level 40, you can go to trainer and say, open up this, open this, this, and start training these. Once these buys both get to 40, then you can open Meticulous. Meticulous is where you want to be at. Meticulous says, like I mine a, I mine a node, I may get a Meticulous collection that says, I get to do it again, or three times, or four. I, I've heard different people, the most I've ever seen, I've got really high uh, Meticulous in my mining on my main character, is up to nine times I hit a node. That's nine ore in that one node, or at least nine on that. That's, you're making money, you're making it faster. So you want to get this to 40 so you can open up these two. You want to get those to 40 so you can open up this. You want to raise this up as good as you can. This you want to get up to the very high. This you want to get up to very high. You could keep these at 40 if you wanted to. And I think it's a pretty good strategy for it. You definitely want to do this for mining. Um, it's the most money in the game. Everybody needs iron. Iron, copper, gold, and silver. So. The next uh, one that's in there is forestry. Chopping wood. You need to get wood. People need it as well. Not as much as mining, but for crafters it is important. It does sell very well. Same setup. This is you know how efficient you are actually chopping. If you get this 40, you can open up surveying. You can open up swift. You get these to 40, you can open up meticulous. Same thing. Get this up to, you want to get this up there. You shoot for this one in the beginning. Shoot for that one to get up to 80. Shoot to get this one up to 80. You can keep these at 40 on there. Uh, fishing. There's a fishing skill. You can go fishing. The system really isn't in that much yet. Um, it's fun, but it's not fully baked out. So don't worry about fishing right now at this point. This one is field dressing. Skinning. Kill a bear, skin the bear. Um, same setup. Get your skinning one. You can get animal hides, carcasses for cookings, animal hides is for making leather. Um, you can get meticulous down here. They don't sell as well. They do, but you're not going to make a lot of money on it. Work on this a lot. Um, if you're going to be crafting, you need the animal hides for yourself. Uh, I can sell animal hides, but they just don't sell as much as the other one. If you want money, it's wood and then it's really uh, on the ore. And then this is foraging. 
So if you see a cotton bush, you can forage, you get cotton from it. If you see mandrake or garlic or oysters or black pearl, you know, you can go down to the ground and, you know, carve it up. Same mechanics. You want to get this one up to, you know, get this to 40 to open up these, get these to 40 to open up this, get this to 80 and to 80 on here. Um, go out there. The money isn't in the, uh, for this one, you need cotton to make thread, you need thread to make cloth, you need cloth to make cloth things. Um, you can also get things called beetle carapaces. They're like these hardened shell beetles. If you get one of those, they're kind of rare, kind of side material. They use that for a specific type of cloth, car carapacean cloth. It's heavy. It's uh, it, it's a, a really good defensive on it. It's got that hard shell on it. Those little beetles sell for like 400 gold a piece. So those are money. Whenever you get something that's not, like if you're going for wood and you don't get wood, you get pine resin. If you're going for copper and you get some tin. If you're going for cotton and you get a beetle carapace. If you're skinning a bear and you get a piece of sweat, uh, S-U-E-T. These are side items that are worth money. Get those. Those you can sell. You can sell those for good money. Don't sell them to a vendor, an NPC vendor. Sell them to players. If you don't know where to find those, ping me. I'll tell you where to find them. I'll probably even buy them off you. Um, fair price, too. In that. So this is your gathering skills. Um, your crafting is really worked on gathering, refining, and then making stuff. So as a new character, you're going to do a lot of gathering. You're going to stick stuff in your bank. There'll be a lot there. Well, then you can take stuff. And you could take ore and turn it into ingots. Now, the only time you really want to refine stuff into ingots is if you want to use them. People don't sell. They do, but it doesn't sell as well. People don't sell ingots. I, I never buy 100 silver ingots. I always buy 100 silver ore. And like, why? I just, you know, it's, it's a little bit cheaper to do. Um, I've got my skill to it. People just turn to deal with it. I also think people understand the economy better, how much something's worth by how much ore it's worth. 100 silver ore, 6,000 gold pieces. That's what it's worth. I just know that. 100 ore, 6,000 gold pieces. <clears throat> how many ingots is that? Well, you need to get some coal. If, uh, you gotta have this much. You got four ore goes into one ingot. And so that's 25 ingots plus some of this. And now I don't even know what the exact price is. And people sell them at different ones. It gets all shady. People don't like shady. People like simple. So people understand 100 ore, 6,000. 100 uh, gold ore, 5,400. They know that. They memorize that. So if you're going to be selling, gather it, amass it, and sell it. If you're going to be using it, you're going to be producing something, refine it. Make wood into timber, into boards make um, ore into ingots, make uh, animal hides into leather and whatnot, or take your carcasses and chop them up into meats and, and, and whatnot. So, or here's you take cotton, turn it into thread. All different skills in it, general kind of stuff. These are all one pointers. You're either good at refining. It's not like there's other skills to this. There is smelting. Smelting is smelting. Once you get into production, then there's some other uh, interesting ones that you get to with it. As a new character, avoid this. It's costly. It takes money to make to produce things. So uh, as a new character, you really want to focus on your skill development. Really work in your gathering. That's where you want to be. Gather, gather, gather. Sell, make some more money. Keep raising up and, and, and keep doing that. So um, yeah, so that's about it on there. Now, to use these skills, I didn't show this in the other one. Like, like there's a duck over here. Uh, poor duck. I know. I shouldn't kill the duck. I'm going to hit my Z key. I'm going to go into combat and I'm going to target this duck. I'm going to double click him. You see that I've got um, a reticle on him and I got this. Now he may run away, so I'm actually, what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to come up behind him. I'm going to do Flaming Fist. Oh, you, oh there he goes. I got him with my, uh, oh, I killed that one over there too. So that's fine. I'm out. He's dead. He's dead. Let's see if I can get the sparklies on. I can't see any sparklies on him. I've got no surveying skills. As my surveying goes up, it'll be sparkly. But notice when I come over him, I've got field dressing. If I double click him, or I hit the E key, now I'm going to use my field dressing skill. And I'm skinning it. And once it's done, either I'm going to fail or not. I was successful. 
A couple things happened there. First, this came up. My field dressing went up to 11, from 10 to 11, because I used the skill. I got a little bit better at this. I got the loot here. I got a duck carcass, which I can turn into duck meat, which I can turn into uh, cooking. I've also got feathers. Uh, feathers are used to make arrows. I can take it, and then he'll disappear. Oop. I can go over to this guy. Now, once I'm on him, I can use the E key as well. It's my kind of action key. I'll go ahead and skin him. And you'll see probably my um, 14 will come up. Now I'm up to level 13. I went up another full two points. It goes up really fast in the beginning. It will slow down. So I'm getting better at that. Um, so that was cool. Those are two resources. If I look over here, this thing is kind of glowing. What is this? Heavy uh, clay. It's not an ore, but it's clay. So I can actually hit E on that. I'll bring up my pickaxe. I've got a 97% chance. Pretty much we'll get it. I do see it fail sometimes. Um, if it fails, just do it again. Now, my mining went up to 11. Sweet, I got a clay block and two worms. I can use the worms for fishing. Clay is used for uh, a crafting. I'm just looking around here to see if there's anything else. I don't see anything else here. So let's go up the path. See if I can find anything else to uh, do some of my uh, stuff. Here's a doe. I could kill that if I wanted to and skin it. I'm looking for any trees. I don't see any trees. Now, by trees in the game, trees that are craftable or you can get wood from will be red, like this one. So I could walk right up to this tree and say, hit the E key or double click. It'll walk around to whatever point. There is a point where it has to uh, do that. So it falls away from you. I got a pine tree bark and a pine piece of pine wood. Sweet. And my skill here went up to 11. I see any other red trees in here? Not really. Looking for any my I've not been in this area, so I'm, I'm literally... Oh, there's a red tree in the distance there. There's a doe. Let's go over there. A, hey, who attacked me? A vigilante. What? No, I'm gonna... This is a new area, so... Alright, so he's gone. I'm gonna quickly loot him. I got a bottle of elven wine. Sweet. This guy's hurting on me. He's a ranged dude. I'm gonna punch him. Searing ray. Oops, he ran away from me. So I'm gonna run back up to him so I can hit him with my arrow, my mace. Alright, so he's gone. I got a rusty dagger and some gold. Oh, the patrols are here to help me after I've killed them all. <laughs> so put away your weapons. If you are fighting, um, they'll help you gain your stuff back. So here's a tree. So I'm going to go here and double click on it. There's a mallard duck over there. And here I go. And you'll see my um, up to level 13 on that one. So I got a mushroom, some pine bark, and some wood. That's good. Um, as far as selling things, you can sell them in smaller lots, but you really want to sell them in quantities of 100. Now, see this one? This is a copper node. So I can go up to it. Now, this one will get me a piece of metal and get me on my mining a little bit better. Cool, got the 13 on that. Copper and a piece of granite. And there's another tree up there. So this is, you know, once you're in an area, this is what we call, you know, we're gathering. We're, we're out either mining or getting wood. In the general areas, there'll be different things you can get at. So it's not like it's all mining or all wood and whatnot. So, um, but this race of skill, get your materials to sell. I got cinnamon bark. If you notice up here, I got this white bush. This is what a cotton bush looks like. It's white. It's got white on it. It's ready. So let's do that one. I'm looking around and see if I see anything else I can get at. Got some raw cotton. Small gray wolf. 
So they are going to attack me when I walk by them. So I'm going to throw an arrow at them. Fire, fire arrow. Searing ray. Alright. I got that guy coming. He's on fire over there. Now he's gone. Like the um, ducks, I can come and skin them. I'll put my weapons away so I get my focus back up. And let's see here. Got a piece of leather scrap, so I'm not that good at it. I'd even get a carcass off of it. Because <laughs> I'm not that good. So, okay. We do this to get better. That's why we end up doing this. Also, I got an animal hide. Now, that's something I can take and put to a... Uh, put to a... Um... Can I go in here? Huh. Got my head in the wall there. Uh-oh. Well, this is not good. I'm actually literally stuck with my head in the wall. Help! I can't get out. Um, so, if for some reason you do this and you cannot get out like this, you can bring up a command. I'm in my little task window here. Let me. You can do my chat window slash stuck. Oh, I'm in combat. Get out of combat. Slash stuck. Are you sure? Don't abuse this. They do track this. If they find you using it, they may uh, do something to your account. I don't know. I'm literally stuck. So nothing I can do. It's a legitimate use of it. And it's will pop you out in the zone. It happens in here. There are collisions and weird, weird spots in the game like that. So uh, let me get this up here. But that was... um. The main part of this, I just want to show that there is the whole crafting side. Now I'm back to beginning here, which is fine. Um, you really want to work on your your resource gathering. So going out there, getting ore, wood, cotton, skinning stuff, and um, notice my weight's gotten up here. You only can carry so much. Carcasses weigh a lot if you have them. I don't know. So I'll probably have to go find a bank and do something with this stuff eventually here. So. Um, so yeah, so that's it for right now. So that's a little bit about the, the gathering stuff and doing your basic kind of your entry part into crafting. Um, if you just want to be a pure crafter, you need to be a fighter. You have to fight stuff out. All the stuff you need to get is always around. There's stuff to fight around. So you have to be able to kill them and then get the stuff. So that's it. If you have questions or comments, throw them on the video. Thumbs up or thumbs down. It's Elena Strombo from SodaTutorials.com. At the end of this video, is going to pop up previous one in the video series. Below that is SodaTutorials.com website, what I've been doing, what I will be doing. Picture of me in the fairy wings. Um, click on that. If you're liking the content here and want to subscribe to the channel, there'll also be a video up to the upright. If you're looking for a place to live as a new character, I do have rentals in Owl's Head. Very fairly priced and everything about that's on that video there. Take care. Have a good one.